new wills are on the ground for those to protect and serve us. I'm Chantal Belafonte, your neighborhood reporter, and I'm at Fort Cavazos, and I'll show you how soldiers and their families can get around on base. It, it really was a challenge. A challenge many soldiers at Fort Cavazos are happy to put behind them. One soldier says the existing transportation didn't meet their needs. When you came to visit uh, someone on post and you didn't know where things were, uh, would make it much, much more difficult to get around. Cavazos fixed that issue with 13 new connector buses. It's similar to Uber. Soldiers and their families click on an app, select their desired location, and voila, no more walking for soldiers on base. It's about quality of life. And, uh, you know, everyone knows that if we have positive quality of life, uh, and make it better for soldiers and their families. Retention rate uh, will go up. Uh, they'll stay in our armed forces. Cavazos Connector took a year to come into fruition. The bus will make 28 stops, covering majority of the base. The U.S. Army set aside $4.2 million for the new transit system, something soldiers like Franklin are thankful for. So what you had was an obvious gap when soldiers were at work or soldiers were away from their homes and you simply couldn't tie those areas together without the bridge that is now this uh, Cavazos Connector. The Cavazos Connector was designed to reduce congestion and focus on the environment. Reporting in Fort Cavazos, I'm Chantal Bulafonte.